So the advantage of having my hands out like this in my guard, right? But not in a martial art fashion, because then you escalate the conflict, right? So a lot of guys teach like a non fighting position like this is my hand is closer to the target now, right? That's the first advantage. Second advantage is if you take this hand out of play, right? Right away I have a backup hand, right? Whereas if I had my hand evenly out, like some people do, if you take one hand out of play, you might end up taking two, right? But there's also the advantage to this. So everything has a plus and minus. The advantage of this is this helps me mark my territory for a counter. I know if you hit between my hands, it's going to be a straight shot. If you hit outside my hands, it's going to be a round shot. For example, if you come in and hit, right? I know that's a straight shot because you went between my hands, right? If you go around my hands, right? Then I know it's a round shot. So you try it, right? So if you're here, these become your marker. If I go between your hands, yeah. Right? If I go outside of your hands using your marker, really easy for you to do this, right? That's why a lot of bouncers and stuff like that teach it. The problem is there's always two sides to a story, right? If you think that I'm coming between your hands, you can stop it. If I go around, you can go around. You have to take into account reaction time, right? Speed, for example. Like, because in real life, you don't know which one I'm going to do. Even though you have a marker, you have to take into account velocity, right? right. So if I come in this way, you do something, they're coming around this way. We're in an argument right now, right? It's not that easy to stop, right? One more time, right? It's not that easy to stop. Right? So, that's why in these guard, you don't want to rely on a fence, right? Because they think of it like, I'm building a fence to keep someone away from me. But when you try to keep someone out, you're also imprisoning yourself in, right? I like to think of it more like, if you think you're in trouble, invite the guy in. Invite them in, instead of trying to keep them away. Because it is like an illusion of safety. You're not really safe. And I'm just using this hand. If I were to hit diff anywhere, anywhere I like, what if I use my legs, right? I mean, you don't really know which way I'm coming, right? Plus, a lot of guys actually spend a lot of time, right? Now you don't know which way I'm going to come in, right? They spend a lot of time educating themselves how to pick out people's limbs, attacking their limbs, right? So there's just too many variables, right? That's why I don't think of like a guarding position is a good idea in terms of safety. It will help, right? But don't rely too much on it. Right?